Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with meteorologist Katie Suniga. Starting off our week a bit warmer than the weekend with a few clouds in the sky. And this is the direction we're moving with our temperatures, but not our cloud cover. In fact, we should see those clouds off the Outback lift line. And again, the ones here out at the Bend Airport clearing up as we go into the evening. It should be another one of our beautiful Central Oregon sunsets. We would love for you to get out, take some pictures for me and go to kdvz.com. Send them to me through the share tab. Just make sure to turn those phones or your cameras if they're any orientation make sure and do them horizontally for me i love to show your pictures but we just need to get them all on the screen for everybody to see you do some amazing stuff for me so hopefully you can get out and get some pictures not too hot still above average by quite a bit this is definitely getting into the hot range for some of us and we're not done warming up yet our daytime temperatures you will see here in a moment could reach triple digits not only by midweek but maybe even a bit as we get closer to Toward the weekend. Winds for us should not be too crazy through all of this. You can see out at the Bend Airport right now, seven miles per hour and then 15 in Redmond. This could be where we live for this week, that 10 to 15 miles per hour for sustained winds in the afternoon and then those gusts getting up to 20, just about where we should be. As far as the clouds go, I mentioned we're clearing up. You can see them moving through the region. Pay attention to this motion. You see how our clouds are moving and slightly curving up to the northeast. That's what we're we're seeing with this wind pattern here. We have some changes in the different levels depending on where you are in the atmosphere going up toward the upper levels and you're seeing this wind come in and swoop around. As we go from today into tomorrow, it shifts just a bit and we should see a bit more of our wind coming out of the southwest. Does not change much for us. You can see this high pressure that we are sitting under here. This is going to persist for us for quite a while and that's what we see on the future track. We have just a few clouds tomorrow morning around 5 a.m. Those move right through with those upper level winds, a chance for some slight showers off to the east. But as far as we go, not seeing any other cloud cover all the way through Thursday afternoon, evening. We stay mostly clear, if not completely clear, headed to the weekend. It's the temperatures. That is what I'm tracking and keeping my eye on. Here's where we are right now in those mid 80s to low 90s for that temperature range. Overnight tonight, without the clouds, we drop, 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 drop till we get to that 5 a.m. time we hit those low 50s. That is well above average for this time of year. We should range from the mid 40s to the low 60s. Redmond 53, that should be closer to 45 to 46. Daytime temperatures tomorrow. Redmond has those mid 90s. Warm Springs possible triple digits. You will see that that's not the only day. Once we hit Thursday, Redmond could also see temperatures in triple digits, but then we cool quickly as we go through the weekend.